how much repetition is too much repetition? How do you stop it from being boring? When do you move on to the next idea? How do you use dynamics to your advantage? What do I even play in the first place? I'm gonna try and answer these questions for you today in this video by sharing four examples of ways that you can play for meditation. Let's dive into the first idea. And that is playing up and down the scale with one note changing, the bass note changing. So here is a pattern for you. Notice how I'm using repetition to my advantage. I'm keeping it very simple. I'm keeping it all in the same area of the instrument. But just by changing that bass note, it gives it enough movement to keep it interesting and to give it some foundation, some grounding. I also mix up the phrasing just a little bit, the line just a little bit. So the first two parts of the line are the same. Then the same again. But then I continue up and come back down again, right? Just that tiny little bit of intrigue, that tiny little difference is what keeps it moving. The second example is um, arpeggios. So it's a similar idea, but this time moving in specific chord shapes. So you can find three notes that you like the sound of um, and maybe switch between two versions of this. And then again, you've got a nice, solid, meditative pattern, for example. bar here I'm hinting at little aspects of melody bringing in little melody notes here and there but not too much again not to catch the listener's attention um, but just to again just give it a little bit of movement and we've got that repetition of the chords and then you can change the chords that you're playing after a certain amount of time maybe you're moving between four chords rather than two whatever feels good to you um, but these really simple gentle slow arpeggios are really really lovely and if you really lean into the dynamics as well, bring them up and play them loud and then bring them quiet and play them slow and soft and gentle. And then maybe you work it back up again and it gets a bit louder but not quite and it ebbs again a little bit. Yeah, play with that and really perform it. One of my early teachers once said to me, something really, really simple played well is miles ahead, way, way better than something really, really complex not played well, right? So simplicity often is key. All right, number three is uh, leaning into the chord idea again, but this time more spacious. So we pick our chords and allow 
allow the space for the instrument to breathe. keeping it really slow, really gentle, filling out the space just a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, but not too much, and then stopping and leaving the space, letting the space happen again, filling it, filling it, letting it be spacious. It's the all in the expression, all in um, really respecting the space, listening to the space, feeling the space, because um, that is what meditation, after all, is all about. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you're um, mirroring that in your playing as well. The fourth and final um, example is rhythmical and repeating notes. For instance, something like this. Repeating the rhythmical element doesn't have to be very complex. It could just be something this simple, a heartbeat, right? Just keeping that pulse. You could do that for as long as you like. And that will really bring you into a trance or bring your listeners into a trance. But if you want to, you can start to bring other elements in. So to sum up then, we have moving up and down the scale while changing the bass note to change the foundation of it. Arpeggios, chord shapes that we play each note separately, individually. Spacious chords, really allowing the space, listening to the space, occasionally filling it with little aspects of melody. And a repeated rhythmic pattern with just very, very simple sprinkles within it. You can of course combine a few of these together to get different results. Um, but I invite you to experiment on your own, to flow with it, to breathe with it, to meditate with it, and see what happens, see what else comes out that might be different to what I did, and really connect with your instrument. If you're looking for other inspiration on how to play for meditation, then I recommend you check out this video next. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next one, and um, yeah, I wish you joy in your, in your meditations. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>